What is it you're doing here? We're developing new technology. It's costing a lot of money to get it going. So we try to restrict access to it. And that's why it's no windows. <laughs> Dr. Craig Foster has worked at the cutting edge of the fisheries industry for 20 years. The fish in here cost us multi-millions to get in here and we look after them 12 months a year, 365 days, 24 hours a day and I don't want to take any chances in losing them. In case you've been somewhere where you shouldn't have been. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is our broodstock tank. It's huge. You get a better view from up here. Oh, they're massive. Look at the size of them. Now, these fish, they're about 150 kilo. They're about as long as you and me. The technology Craig's team are developing could mean that one day, wild southern bluefin tuna no longer need to be fished from our oceans. They're trying to breed the tuna, but it's not as easy as you might think. This tank is all about reliably producing eggs to enable us to produce juveniles. Why is it so hard to get them to breed in, in this sort of situation? Well, because the reality is there's very little known about them. These tuna are temperature spawners, so their, their major breeding cycle is governed by temperature. Naturally, they'd spawn in the Java Sea, about 27 degrees. In the wild, tuna only breed after they migrate thousands of miles. To recreate those conditions, this state-of-the-art facility mimics the daylight, moonlight and water temperatures that they'd encounter on that epic journey around Australia to the Java Sea. So are you businessmen, business people, or are you conservationists, or a bit of both? Then we're not doing this as a conservation project. There is a declining supply of tuna. With declining supply becomes increasing prices. So there's an opportunity to support that supply and take the pressure off the wild fishery by producing it in a farm manner. Hopefully, if we can succeed, then we will take pressure off fishing stocks and the world will go on as we would have found it years ago. Southern bluefin tuna have been successfully spawned at this research centre, the first time ever in captivity. But that's only the first stage. Now, you probably need your glasses on for this, but these are tuna eggs, gold dust. Look at that. And yeah. those things will grow into a fish very rapidly, hatch within 30 hours. But if all the tuna in here were to grow to full size and be sold on to a market in Japan, let's say, that could be 200, 300,000 pounds of fish. Correct. And so I'd be a happy person. If they can raise tuna to full size, they may be able to change how we fish our oceans and help save the southern bluefin tuna. Of course, it is sad to see such magnificent creatures being held captive like this and, and farmed, but we've been doing the same to cattle for thousands of years. And at the moment, the human population of the planet is increasing by tens of millions every year. We're emptying our oceans of fish, maybe, fish farming, aquaculture, can play a role in finding a solution which feeds humans but protects life in our seas.